Hey everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Alright, looks like we had about the same stuff popping up there. We're gonna jump right into it. Eventually we'll get so many plants that we have to pick and choose. I was kind of waiting for that screen to pop up, but uh... Nope, not quite. So we're still gonna employ those tricks that we learned last time to... Uh, save off the zombies without spending so much money. Boom, go ahead and get him right there. The potato mine will arm itself in plenty of time and take care of that zombie, and we are free to keep planting our economy flowers here. And he's recharging. You want to plant it as early as possible. As soon as you see that guy, go ahead and plant it so the recharge time comes up. If we're really quick, maybe we can get three charges out of it. Normally I can do this twice. Uh, Alright, he's on a different row. Here we go. Boom, plant him there. Let's see if this allows us to do it twice. Or three times. So here we, here we go. He, this guy didn't even do it yet. And we're getting plenty of sun. I probably start already planting. May as well. Why not? Oh yeah, we'll show off the snow pea this level too. I'll show off every plant in this game, by the way. I will leave none out. You know what? I think we're good. I think we're good to get this guy a third time. Look at that. If you're quick enough, you can get it three times. That is pretty good. It might not work if, uh... Normally I say you're lucky if two zombies come down the same lane. This might actually hurt this tactic. Because you can't, uh, plant another one ahead. Um... Because, you know, the old zombie will get up too close to it. If you catch my drift. Alright, let's plant these guys back here this time. Last time we planted them up there, and the zombies got a little much, too much time to come up and start eating them. So, I know that's what they're designed to do, so it sounds weird that I'd be kind of defensive about that. Uh, let's see, Snowpea in action. Boom. Whenever they hit an enemy, the enemy turns blue and moves a lot slower. This really helps. Remember those uh, pole vaulting zombies. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Uh, get a little extra offense there in the form of that. I could have planted a Snowpea, and that would have done him in easy because it's another damage being added, and he's being slowed. Let's see, sometimes in a pinch you can use the potato mines. I think that'll arm in time. I hope it will. Alright, uh, oh, here he comes. See, these guys, remember, they run really fast? Well, now that's not an issue. Alright, let's, uh, remember to, uh, uh, split up your offense and defense, kind of cover your own weaknesses. Boom, look at that. Couldn't even make it to the row of walnuts if you tried. Uh, get this guy right there. I'll go ahead and start planting, uh, I'll get pea shooter, snow pea, pea shooter, like that. Uh, you don't need two pea shooters, uh, the, the effect isn't, like, doubled or anything, so you only need one per row. Uh, go ahead and do that, that. Man, we got so much going on, can't even keep up with our son. Once again, I knocked the mic, what a noob. Alright. Uh, what was I doing, what was I doing? Uh, pea shooter. Once again, we could plant him there, but uh, these guys have tall nut or walnuts. Oh, spoilers! There is a plant called a tall nut that we'll see later. All right, there we go. Get up. Oh, and we got our first uh, two wave level. Let's see, wave one, and we're only halfway done. That was a semi-smooth rhyme. I'll give that to myself. There we go. We almost have like our perfect defense. I can put a few potato mines in front. That's a cool thing though, if you have two zombies, uh, the snow pea will freeze one, the other one will catch up, so it'll freeze that one, and they'll kind of go back and forth like that. Really solid defense right here. Sadly, uh, yeah, I don't use a snow pea that much in later levels. I don't remember using them. I mean, there are, there are other plants that kind of compensate for them and whatnot. So. Alright, there we go. I'm not even looking at the right side, I'm, I'm just so confident. Look at that, they're never gonna get up close enough. And these guys, um... I believe these guys will also jump over potato mines. So, but, uh, if he was up here, he'd jump over the potato mine and, uh, land right here and have to eat the walnuts, so... That's another thing you can do, plant something ahead of the walnuts and they'll jump over it. I hope we can see that in action, but I don't know if they'd survive. Uh, well, we might see it now. See, here's a case of a zombie blocking the path ahead of him, but uh-oh, he got caught by the uh, the freezing effect, so might not see it. There we go. 
jumps over the potato in the mine, but this is going to be in the way, and he's got to start eating that. That's what that's what I like. There's so many, like, the zombies can counter you this way, but you can counter them that way, but they can counter you this way. Kind of back and forth. Or why not? Nope. Boom. Two walnuts. I'm crazy like that. You do something completely ridiculous, because look at our sun. This is why I say the game's kind of easy. Uh, but it is a fun game. It's a fun tower defense. Like I said, uh, looking at the promo images and seeing these like, five lanes, I'm like, wow, you only have to deal with five lanes? Defense grid, you gotta... I mean, you only have, like, one path, but you got hordes of enemies coming down. But uh, this provides its own nice little uh, strategic development there. Uh, what can we do here? Plant that there, maybe? Look at that, this guy's gonna come up. Boom! Gonna get caught again. He's gonna get frozen anyway. And while he was jumping, a snow pea went under and hit that guy. Awesome. Got a number of guys coming up, but hey, if the uh, coneheads make it through, which he might, he might make it to that potato mine. Doesn't matter, we have like an ungodly amount of defense in the way. Well, oh man, will our potato mine be used? No. <laughs> Alright, who do we have here? We have the Chomper devours a zombie hole, but is vulnerable while chewing. So yeah, these guys are kind of one-hit kill. But then they have like a tool, uh, cooldown time where they'll be chewing. Um, we'll keep going, make this a little longer of an episode. Uh-oh, we get our first glimpse of the Buckethead zombies. Oh, okay. We can kind of hover over them here. Ah, uh, let's go. Here we go, now we get to finally choose our plants. Uh, so, Sunflower, I like to put... My economy stuff first. Uh, do that. Get our attacking plants. We'll try out this guy. Um, uh, th these guys pair well with the walnuts. You'll see why. Something like that. I'm not been using. I don't use cherry bombs really. Um, or any exploding plant, uh, with a few exceptions. But uh, for the most part, do this up right here. All right, and yeah, of course, we're going to deploy, employ, I don't know, employ the tricks uh, to get our economy boosted up quick, nice and quick like. Here we go, down there, plant them there, plant them as quick as possible. We can get three uses out of this and get a full two rows of sunflowers. As you can tell, the, the two rows is, you know, plenty, but... Um, let me uh, pay attention here. Um, but you, as you can see, we got buckethead zombies coming in. As you can imagine, if a conehead is way tougher than a regular zombie, what must a buckethead be? Uh, here we go. Uh, let's do 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 click. All right, there we go. <laughs> Had to pick and choose how my clicks would go there. Even if we can't quite do it three times, it's okay. I guess. In fact, I have so much sun, uh, I want to get a head start on planting some stuff here, so there we go. Oh, and he came up top anyway, so yeah, we're done with that uh, that trick there. And we got a full two rows. So it'll be like... Hmm. I guess Pea Shooter, Snow Pea, Pea Shooter, Chomper, Walnut, something like that. Uh-oh. We're not even, like, <laughs> nearly prepared for that guy. Uh, I hope I planted that far out enough. I'm not even sure if I did, so what was it? Do, do, do. Plant him right there. I know typically you don't want to plant them that far out, but uh, in this case it'll be okay, because we'll have the chompers kind of backing them up. And we'll see why. I, I will probably employ my first chomper at the site of a bucket head. Uh, start getting some pea shooters here. Oops, shouldn't have gotten it somewhere else, because remember, this guy's nice and protected. Whereas the rest of the rows are not. Do that. Uh oh Buckethead, here we go. So, oh man, I'm so unprepared. Yeah, one pea shooter is not nearly enough to deal with him, so let's put this guy right here. And I'll show you why they can be paired. Boom! These guys can bite uh, kind of two lane, uh, two squares ahead of them, so pair him with a walnut, and oh no, we got a guy coming in, let's, uh, slow him down. So, see, this guy's chewing, this guy's gonna have an, uh, 
some free time to go ahead and go to town on this uh, walnut, which is fine. He probably won't eat it all, but I, you know, I don't want him, the walnut to be damaged too much. So there we go. Uh, yeah, the level's not going to be long enough for me to get a lot of chompers, but uh, I do want to kind of... Oops. I'm newbie of me. Um, that'll be just a really protected row, I guess. And let's get that there. We have the wave come up here, so let's save up. And see where this, uh, Buckethead's gonna come out, because I know there's gonna be another one in the big wave here. Zachampa! Uh, oh, he's on the same row. How fortunate. It's gonna take him forever to get there. Uh, pea shooters really help out against Bucketheads. Or, or I mean, uh, snow peas do. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> I didn't want the uh, chomper to go for that other zombie. Hey, let's finish him off quick. Achum. All right. And he'll get up slowly. Look, we haven't even... There we go. We finally got him to, like, the first stage of damage. And with that, we are awarded with a mean-looking plant here. The repeater fires two peas at a time. Awesome plant. This will totally replace the pea shooter. But we'll... See that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.